And I reminded them of a story. We went to preach in Narok and some of my few brothers. We were fully devoted to Christ, by the way. Fully devoted, 2011. Hi, more university. We were sold out to Christ, starving the flesh and feeding the spirit. Hallelujah. Could go to the mountain and pray in voice. Those were the days. I know you guys have also your days. <laughs> Let me share mine. So one day we are full of the spirit and we have gone to preach in Narok. Hallelujah. We are, me, I'm doing crusades. My brothers are doing door to door because I prefer crusades. So now we go for, they go for a door to door and they, they enter Mganga house. And they say, Bwana Yesu was fewer sana. I say, mm hmm. Tumekuja ili, tukashiriki neno la mungu na wewe. Na pia tukaombe na we, na wewe, Mganga. Mganga kawambia asanteni sana kwa kuja. Oh, mungu kwele mawatuma. Na mimi sana ningetamani muombe na mimi. Lakini kambla mjaomba na mimi, ombe ni kwanza muamuke kwa hizo viti mmekalia. Walika hapo. Walika hapo. Saa tano, saa sita, saa saba, saa nane, saa. Waliachiliwa saa kumina moja. Waliambo waende na wasuwa irudi tena hapo. We looked for them. Calls are not being picked. They came to us the story. And the next day, of course, they said, Emmanuel, you can't believe it. Yes. I can't believe it. We prayed for them, Ganga. We prayed for them, Ganga. But even amidst those fears of 2011, friends, guns, they will receive Jesus Christ. Even amidst those fears, of 2011, those places we are going to preach for the border border guys, they will receive Jesus Christ. Even among those fears, we will preach because we have to. The women have taught us not to stay with the good news. Go and preach the gospel.